when you become impregnated with the vision, so when God is giving you a vision, now you have to pray for, for the faith to be able to carry it out. And that's staying connected with God in that. You've been given a vision, you've been given a plan, a purpose, a dream. God has a direction for you and he's going to give it to you. And then it's your choice, it's now your step to be in constant connection with him and in prayer for the faith to be able to see it through. And that's staying under the covering, under the anointing. Whereas if we're given a vision and, and a direction from the Holy Spirit and we say yes and we accept it, and then we start coming up with our own ways to make it happen, now we just stepped out of the house. We were in the house, we had the blood covering over us, we were protected, everything we were, we were great. And then we decided, okay, I've got a vision, I've been given a dream, God has told me that, that this is what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna da 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 da, I'm gonna da da. You just stepped out of the house, you just left the anointing. Come back. Whenever you find yourself in that moment, come back into the house, get back under the cover and let that anointing work in you. So many things we go through that we don't have to. Are there struggles and trials and, and, and tribulations and, and things that God has signed off on? I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah. That God has signed off on in our life to come our way? Yes, there are things that, there are struggles, there are things we're gonna go through, there are storms that are gonna come our way but not every single one that comes had to. Many of them come, many of these, these, the, the, these you know, obstacles in our life are only there because we stepped out of the anointing, because we went and decided to go a certain direction. I would say it's safe to say a good 90% of what most Christians go through, as far as labeled a struggle or an obstacle, they didn't need to go through. It got brought about because of a decision they made to step out of that anointing, to, to say, I got it, to not inquire of God and what they were supposed to do. I've been in arguments in my marriage that could have been totally avoided if I would have just talked to God first. But because I thought I knew what to say and I knew what to do and I can handle this, now I end up in an argument, a disagreement, and it never had to happen. And so the goal needs to be to prevent those things from happening. We're gonna go through enough as it is. Stop bringing things into your life that didn't need to be there in the first place. So stop going to the places that you know you're not supposed to go to. Stop hanging out with the people you know you're not supposed to hang out with. Stop watching and reading and listening to the things you know you're not supposed to be dealing with. Stop operating outside of the anointing and get back in the house and operate on what God has for you.